Hi everyone. Sometimes it can be useful to be able to put your um, Twitter feed on your main Moodle page so that as uh, new feeds come up or as new posts come up, uh, you can display those directly on the uh, main page. Now, you may want to display your own posts as a teacher. You might want to display the posts of another individual. You might want to just uh, display a certain hashtag or certain uh, search term uh, within your Moodle page. Now all of that is very easy to do, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So as you can see here, I'm looking at my uh, my Twitter or Twitter page, and uh, as uh, as everybody else uh, does, you have of course uh, your who's following you. You've got a list of the tweets that you're that are made from people that you are following, um, as well as a number of other types of information on the page. Um, this page, by the way, is a page that you get when you first log in to Twitter. If you look up in the top left, there is a box here that has a little gear. And if I click on that gear, um, one of the options is settings. If I click on settings, it actually takes me to a new screen. And uh, on that screen, there's a number of options. But on the, uh, on the side, you do see an option for widgets. And that's actually what I'm going to go ahead and click. So I'll click widgets. And now it's going to say, okay, here's the widgets I already have. So earlier I created a, a widget uh, pointing to the search ed chat, um, to the tag ed chat. Um, but I'd like to create a new one here. So I'm going to go create new. And it's going to ask me what would I like to create. So you have a choice of either showing your own timeline, so your own post to Twitter, uh, your favorites, so any posts that you've marked as being favorite, um, lists, so any um, people that you have added to your lists, or um, an individual search. Now by default it does uh, fill in your own username, so if I just wanted to display uh, my own post, that's all ready to go here, um, but I can um, very easily just click on the search tab and let's say for example I wanted to do a search of uh, Moodle so any conversations on the tag Moodle it gives me a number of options so um, do I only want to show the top tweets or do I want to show everything um, top tweets by the way are uh, tweets that get retweeted um, a number of times uh, safe search mode, um, which if you're doing this for a school, I would recommend um, so that uh, profanity and inappropriate pictures are filtered out. Um, not 100%, uh, um, but really quite, uh, quite good. Um, the height you can usually just leave. Uh, the theme, if you like uh, dark um, color or if you like a light color, I tend to because it draws, uh, it draws people's attention to it. I usually choose dark and you can see what that looks like here. Um, however, if I uh, choose light, um, you can see again it's just over on the side and uh, it's a white colored background. Um, I usually choose dark because it tends to be easier to read with a white uh, text on the darker background. Um, currently, uh, you can see that all the links are blue. I can certainly change those. So if I want to have purple links, I can just click on purple, uh, press done, and um, once, uh, once it refreshes, all my uh, links will become uh, purple. Um, if you want this to be a private conversation, then you can just go ahead of opting out tailoring Twitter. Uh, there goes the update happened. You can see my purple links now. Um, and once that's all done, all I have to do is press create widget. And once I have, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, underneath your, uh, your Twitter feed, it has a bunch of very strange looking text which has been uh, highlighted. Um, I don't need to understand what's in there. All I need to do is right click and copy so that that text is in my clipboard and then I can just go ahead and jump to Moodle. Now in Moodle I simply have to go to my um, editing bar on the side so I can just turn my editing on 
And if I scroll to the bottom of all my blocks, you'll see that there is an add a block setting. If I click that add a block, one of my options, and there's lots of them here, and you can feel free to play around with those, but the block that I'm interested in is HTML. That means that I want to create a block that really has nothing in it unless I add it. So I'll go ahead and press that, and momentarily it will reload. And if I scroll down again, you'll see, whoops, I seem to have added two of them. Um, I apparently created one earlier. Um, but I'm going to just go ahead and use the bottom one. It's just called new HTML block. To change the contents of it, all I need to do is just press the gear. And then, if I um, take a look at my uh, main page, it just says configuring a new HTML block. I should uh, put a new title on it so it's not just called a new HTML block. I'll call it um, Moodle Conversations on Twitter. And then in the content box, and this is true anytime you're uh, pasting embed code, I need to tell it that I'm not putting just text up here. I need to make sure that it knows that I'm pasting code. To do that, all I do is press the HTML button, which says Edit HTML Source. So I'll go ahead and do that. A new box comes up. And now, because all of that text is in my clipboard from earlier, all I need to do is Command-V or Control-V if you're on a, a PC, or just right-click Paste. And all of that strange text that we, uh, we selected off of the Twitter page shows up. And I can just press Update. Immediately, it just says Tweets about Moodle, which is good, because that tells me it's at least pulling the right thing up. And now, if I just go to the bottom and press Save Changes, and then look over on the sidebar, if I scroll down, you will see that now that block that used to just say new HTML block now says Moodle Conversations on Twitter. You'll see that uh, the current conversation with this uh, purpley background that we set up is uh, showing up. If, um, if it does have a link like this one does, you'll see a button underneath that says Show Summary. So I can go ahead and click that, and it'll give me a little bit of uh, detail in terms of what that link is about. Um, and then students or yourself can go ahead and, uh, and click them. Um, you'll also notice that the reply or retweet buttons are there. Um, obviously, you need to be logged into your own Twitter account before those will work, but if I click on those, it will take me to uh, Twitter and uh, allow me to retweet or reply. Um, as this, uh, or as with any other um, Moodle concept, if you have any questions on any of this, um, feel free to, uh, to let me know. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, um, you probably saw that earlier, but it's uh, at DSTLearn, uh, D-S-T-L-E-A-R-N is my Twitter, um, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.